Alright guys, I'm going to try out this video demonstration for you. I had made one for my other class and they really enjoyed it. So uh, what I'm going to go over with you for this one is basically just how we're going to transfer our image from our photograph to our printing plate for our pop art prints. So just to show you a little bit about the process, I had taken this photograph of myself and then I adjusted it to be a high contrast image. Uh, so this is one that I had already started on, but once you have your high contrast image, what you guys want to do is go in with a pencil and you're going to press really hard and you're going to start to shade in and outline everything. So I'm going to outline my bangs and the side of my face here. Make sure that you get in the line for the chin and then I'm going to start coloring in the dark for my hair. So I want to continue to color all of this in. Making sure I'm going up to the edge, outlining any of these extra parts, and really filling all that in. Over here, it's a little bit lighter in this section. So I'm going to just kind of go around that so I know that when I'm doing my print, I'm not going to carve that part out. So pretty much I'm just coloring over my photograph all of my features. Alright. So the next thing I'm going to go in and do is I'm going to start to go around my eyes. I want to outline the whole thing. I'm going to color in where it's darker. I'm also going to go around this circle, the pupil, and just start to color in any of those sections. I'm going to outline my lips and my nose. So pretty much what you're doing is going over the whole picture. Now I have one that I've previously done this to, and I'm going to show you guys how to transfer it on the plate. This isn't finished, I'd probably spend another 20 minutes to a half hour just making sure that everything's complete. So this is one that I had done earlier. Um, I'm just going to touch it up a little bit to make sure I have everything. And remember you're pressing with your pencil pretty hard so that the graphite's going to be able to transfer onto the printing plate. Let me just go around my ear because I forgot that part earlier. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my printing plate. This is a piece of easy cut and if you look at it there's two different sides. One side kind of has this sheen to it and the other side is a little bit more rough and textured, kind of like an eraser. So this side, the side that feels like an eraser, is the side that you want to transfer it onto. So once I have my picture full of the graphite medium, I'm going to take it and I'm going to flip it over and line it up. And I want to hold it down with one hand. And then I'm just going to go over it and I'm just going to rub all the sections of my photograph. So take some time to do this. Um, I find that doing it with your finger really works best because you're able to really push and apply a lot of pressure. Um, some people like to go over it like this with their pencil. So either way, um, but like I said, I think that this works best. And make sure that you're really hitting all the areas because if you skip a part, then it's not going to transfer when you go and remove it. So I'm just going over all my sections one more time. And I'm just going to pull from the edge to make sure it's kind of transferred so I don't move it out of the way. And then when I take it up, I'm going to have my image there. So hopefully you guys can all see that. Now I have this part on the edge here, uh, and that part I'm going to go in and actually do some cross hatching on my final one. That was the shadow from my face. I'm just going to smudge it out a little bit so it doesn't look like a beard is on my face. Now, once you get it like this, when we're carving our prints, we don't want this graphite to move around. So that we're then going to take a ballpoint pen and we're just going to go over everything and we're going to outline it so that it's there for us. 
So I'm gonna just go in and I'm gonna outline my hair. And if you'll notice, the image is reversed. So when we actually flip it over and print it like this, it's going to flip again. So if it looks a little bit funny or it doesn't quite look like you, it's because the image is actually a reverse image. And then when we flip it over to print it, it's going to look right again. So I'm just going in, outlining everything in pen. Going over my eyebrow. You wanna make sure you're really coloring everything. I'm gonna go in and actually color in the dark spots. Go around my eyes and color in the dark spots. Any of these pieces that we left in from the high contrast photo are really what's going to help make your image realistic. So even if they look a little bit silly to you in your photo, you're definitely going to want to leave those in for when you create your print because that's what's really going to make it realistic. I'm just going to finish coloring that rest part in for my eye. you guys liked this and it was a little bit easier than viewing a demonstration so I'm just making sure I'm going around everything like I said my nose kind of looks a little bit backwards and my lips and all the different sections like that I want to make sure I go in with my neck get all those shadows in So hopefully you guys can see, this is what it should start to look like in the end. All right, so that's it. Thank you.